So here we go. This is we did the pirate mission. Oh, good. Um, I don't believe the pirate intelligence was helpful. I feel like it got our fleet destroyed. I mean, the pirate intellect. Yeah, it was not exactly. I mean, she just said, "Be advised, the pirates serve only themselves. Future pirate reports should be followed with caution." <laughs> I mean, we did it, but just through sheer luck. Okay, yeah. Like we had to fight a space battle we couldn't win, followed by a grab battle we shouldn't have been able to win, but we yeah. managed to cheese it. Oh God! Well, that's what you have to do. So yeah. now Endor is under attack. So is Jebby actually good? Which is pretty give bad. Us? Oh, the oh no hover things. Even though we did use hover things. Right. Repulse the lift vehicles. So you, well, on that planet specifically. Yeah. The T2B tank. Which one did we run? T2B. Okay, so that. That's a glitch. I clearly guess. Clearly doesn't. Amazing. Well, <laughs> so anyway, the Empire is now attacking Endor. We took all our garrison off to, to for that raid, and now we're under attack. We it have is... our level one space station against two triangles. Well, we can't really defend it, can we? No, I think I'm going to auto-resolve that, because level one space stations are garbage. Uh, we can't really control them either. They just sort of sit there and auto-shoot. So, yeah. all right. We'll you just... can sit out of our range with these. and Well, actually, should we just we can fast-forward it. Oh, this is a walk. They, look, they look a lot less cute than I remember. <laughs> a bit more terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> like an evil, evil teddy bear. So this is it, is it, right? This is yeah. our little space station here. We've got, it's deployed an X-Wing squadron to defend okay. itself. Um, it's got a turbo laser, a missile launcher, and a laser cannon. And a Y-Wings. How many does it produce? I think two. Okay. Okay, there they are. Here's the enemy. Okay, here's his artillery. Gotta watch out for that. Is that what we want to fire upon? Yes. Oh, oh, another oh what's that? Is that his anti-fighter? It's his tartan. Yeah. yeah, so if we can knock out the tartan, then our fighters will be free to engage. Yeah, kill it. Oh my god. Oh, the damage is coming in massive. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. We're not even going to kill the tartan, I don't think, at this rate. All, all fighters attack the tartan. Oh Do god, it. every of all of our fighters are dead. Oh my god, this is Yeah. Yeah, this was an auto resolve. <laughs> Let's just fast forward this. This space station is not gonna make it out, is Watch it? Watch it in cinematic cam. Wow, and fast forward, cinematic cam's quite hard to watch, isn't it? Oh you can <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no more fast forward cinematic cam. Seizure cam. <laughs> yeah. I like that they've added a cinematic cam though. It's very yeah. thoughtful of them. Wow. So, so, but they have to bring a ground force, right? They do. Yes. And the Ewoks will actually turn up to help us on Endor. Okay. So, which is very useful. Yeah, they will. They will actually be super useful. Um. Right. Okay. So, so what are we gonna do? What? You, so you can build some ships. Yeah. Here so Bespin's off. now got a level. Three um, space station. Oh, that lets you build ships. Yeah, the bigger the space station, the better the ships you can produce. Right. So, what are you building? So, I've chucked in a, a Nebulon B frigate. Ooh. Cool. Um, we'll see how that does. And I'll, I'll send up these extra. So, how much cash have we actually got? Um, 1,400. There's yeah, another one. mission. It um, seems as though the opportunity has passed and Imperial defenses are once again in place. I have confidence you made the right decision and refusing to be baited. But remember that an excessively defensive strategy allows the Empire to continue to expand the domains. What is he talking about? What does this know. mean? Ilum. Where's Ilum? Ilum? I think they're saying we should have attacked Ilum earlier, but we didn't. But it was Jabim. Yeah. Jabim. Jabim. I don't understand. Let's not worry about so it. Do, so do we want to do more raiding with Han Solo and his team? I think we've got a few choices here. We could either start raiding and taking out planets. Or we could focus on conquering the Outer Rim and securing all these neutral worlds. And hooking up our two... And hooking ourselves up a bit better. Mm, I, I feel like I feel like it's going to be scrappy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because we're so spread out. But I think no matter what, I definitely want to conquer this planet, right Shola, and link up Kashyyyk and Yavin. That sort of makes sense. Like, this is just a no-brainer. Oh, it didn't even have any defences. Easy. So is that just free credits now? That's just free money. So we should scout all the others and see if there's any other undefended worlds. Yes. We've got definitely. a big ground force there. Look at that. Let's go to Ryloth. Heading out. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a trooper there to secure it. I mean, I feel like it only needs one trooper, right? Because it's yeah. all the way at the back. And then the rest of them can go conquer. Adjusting computer. 
And boom. Oh my god, I'm just going to build mi mining facilities on all these planets to make them make more money. Right, there is a battle at Chabim. Oh, he's going to squash. Oh, I should have evacuated. He wants to take it back. What's he sending? Quite a large force. Quite a large force. Okay. Actually, it's not. It's one artillery, one... One scout walkers. Scout walkers, three, five stormtroopers and a time mauler. Okay. Versus Han and Chewie. And the peasants. And peasants. The and a barracks. So and this? peasants and barracks. Uh, the barracks will produce two troopers, two missiles. Okay. And then when these guys die... It will respawn them slowly. Did you build that barracks just now? Yeah, then? I did. I built it when we conquered it. Because it gives you that baseline defense. Right, it's like a garrison. Yeah. So let's get the... Um, let's... And our crazy turret spam is still here. Really? From the last battle. <laughs> okay, so in fact, they're going to have to go through all of that crap. All of these turrets. Right. Even the ones at the landing zone are still there. So it's already firing on it. It's already firing on it. Is him. that an anti-vehicle one? That's an anti-vehicle anti one. Oh. oh, man. We've got... This is going really well. Get the peasants in there peasants. straight away. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to rally them up first. Get them all together. This is the rally point, and then we go through the trees. Yeah, um, I like... I like it. These guys... Get these guys ready to help out. What's that thing there? That that dust, dustbin looking... That is an anti-infantry turret. Okay. Where should I go? The dustbin gun. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and I'm going to sell this. We don't need a vehicle repair. We don't do no. has been sold. Mm. Okay, everyone's moving. Turrets are doing work. Oh my god, just We've already killed a couple of... Um... Bam, we, we might be alright here, you know. I think we could do it. I didn't realise you... A, kept all the defences, and B, got... had built a barracks that let you do stuff. That anti-vehicle turret has done God's work. It really has. It's wiped out. Oh, look at that! He's he dropping the artillery. Turret. Artillery. Oh, switch fire. Go for the artillery. Oh, God, oh, oh we got another does. one! Amazing. You okay, here come the peasant boys. Oh, no. Oh, they're shit. They're all going to die. Oh, they're doing all right against some these, all right, fella, these tank fellas. If they could take one down or something, that would be useful. Or maybe even both. Oh, oh watch the artillery shoot them, though. Oh, okay, oh shit. Great. The artillery's knocking out those turrets. Okay. Oh no. The artillery's firing on them. Okay. Flee! So we need something quick that can get around and take out the artillery. If we got... And Chewy, right? Yeah. What is it now? We can run them in with sprint and just, just knock it out. Yeah. They only had one unit, right? Of artillery yeah, we knocked out two of the artilleries. I feel like we can do that. Yeah, it feels like those artilleries are such a terrifying unit. Oh my god! Okay, they've okay. landed a lot more. Hang you on. have and to do the EMP. Drop the EMP. The artillery's not here anymore. I don't know what happened to it. I feel like you desperately need a, an anti-infantry turret there. There was a lot more troops than I thought. Yeah, well, this landing zone lets him drop 10 units. What's going on on the other side? Um, this is the Holy peasants. Holy shit! The peasants are retreating, yeah, and the main force is, is chasing them down. I thought it was only down. one unit of each, but no, my god, they've got loads more than I thought. Well, the unit, a unit of tanks is, is five tanks. Right. A unit of ATSTs is four, four ATSTs. But look, there's like four more tanks there. I thought there was only one unit of tanks total. No, there was three, three units of tanks. Okay, let's just keep running, shall we? Past. I feel like I just want to kill stuff while it's just. Do you want to just grab one of the units with Chewie then? Or? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Chewie, grab that tank, and then because it's a tank, not a hovercraft, we can just run these fuckers up. Oh my god, you can run those guys over as well. Oh, ouch! Choo choo! Keep running them over. <laughs> Oh my god, Choo -choo! so effective! <laughs> and you're in minimum range now. Oh, it's dead, oh, but that was still very effective. Hand, run. run okay, so we killed several units of stormtroopers there. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Chewy. Oh, I forgot Chewy was still These peasants are doing an amazing job of distracting, like, the main force. Chewy take down an artillery on his own with a blaster. He's gonna try. He's a little, like, crossbow. Construction complete. Come, Come on. on. Get it. Go on, give him a bow cast. Cast. Cast your bow. Cast your bow. <laughs> Yay. Yay. I think it might be the peasants that came in <laughs> around the side that actually did it. Oh, okay. Can he reclaim the turrets at base? Yeah, I'm going to sprint. sprint there, is a t there is something approaching the north of the... Look, someone coming around the back towards our barracks. What's oh, that? Right. Oh, it's just some, some chumps. Okay. Well, the anti-vehicle anti turrets are pretty terrible, but good enough. A lot of these rebel troopers Almost got. There. It really is like a rock, paper, scissors, isn't it? Yeah, it's very rock, paper, scissors, yeah. 
The anti vehicle turrets do fuck all against infantry. It's like Laz Cannon to a space marine. <laughs> yeah. Kill one, definitely. <laughs> yeah, but you need a bit more than that. I'll really kill that one. So these little huts are spawning new peasants, but at this rate, they're, they're going to blow up the huts. But I know, you know what? I think we can hang back now. You think so? Do you want to yeah. heal up these yeah, units? Yeah, let's heal up those boys. Um, let's maybe send a couple to... So send hand to capture these things, yeah. Yeah. And we'll hit fast forward. We've secured a gold pad. We've I'm secured a gold pad. Let's drop the heal in the back to tank. Got your back. Let me handle the peasants are just slowly getting getting whittled down. Yeah, they're now that their spawn huts are gone. I hear you. Um, and they're not going to last long. There they are! What Get them. Man, I've, I think our peasants have done a pretty good job, you know. Yeah, well, it's the power of the rebellion, right? You know, the evil empire doesn't get people fighting for them. Mm, that's anti vehicle. What is it now? Have laughter, you'll travel. So we've got missile troops, Han, Chewie. <laughs> Look how big Chewie is. I know, he's gigantic. <laughs> he's got his little crossbow yeah. there. Oh. Beep, beep. <laughs> Did it, boys. Oh, I dare them. I bloody dare them to take this base. There's some more coming, but this is like just target practice, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Shall we, shall we, so they don't, re, What's going on? They don't get oh, anything here. new. No, they can just keep dropping more troops, but they can only drop what they have in orbit. So once we, you know, use all it looks that looks like they pretty much stopped. Yeah, I think they've, they've run out. It's a meat grinder. we have ground their meat. <laughs> okay. Bam. Poor more peasants. <laughs> They're doing a good job though, their houses are getting wrecked. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, more of them keep coming. So do we get the peasant houses back as well? Yeah, if they reinvade, the peasant houses will get rebuilt. I mean, this Can is do nuts. Do the we want to build some more defences really. before we win? All right. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You're probably Just throwing it out there yeah, is an right. idea. It's a good strat. Maybe we sell some of the damaged vehicle turrets. Oh, they, they will them. repair if they're still Oh, will they? Okay. You guys want to help me out here? Come on, man. Give me a hand with this. Behind you. We've a build Is a voice lines turret from the movie? Really? Come on. With it sounds like it. Don't worry, I'll leave. We are the toys. No, I think it's someone doing a hand impression. Maybe, yeah, it's a bit. A bit too shit. <laughs> yeah. We did so of course because we we didn't have anything else because we didn't have anything here. No, hand was the only unit that was here. Everything else was disposable. Everything else was just spawned in. We killed oh my a God. pretty large invasion force against that was, such a beam. That was a heroic victory. So I, I guess what we want to do is more of that. So we want to do more raiding. Yeah. Because Han and Chewie are relevant, right? But we probably could have defended without them. Uh, yeah, probably. As long, well, because we had the turrets pre-made. That was the um, that was the trick there. Really. So it's best yeah. been our main manufacturing centre now. It is, because it's got the biggest... Um, uh, space station. So, what, so the whole point of this was that it has a higher than average credit production rate. Mm -hmm. So we just want to hold. So it gets a thousand credits. A thousand credits a day. And what's that? Two thousand three hundred. So how That's many how total much, we make? Yeah. Is there any other places that? Wow. So it makes nearly half of our income comes from Bespin. Yeah. Holy shit. So are there any other places that do this much? No. What about uh, Coruscant? I guess. But what about Geonosis? Uh, that looks like a weird planet. Yeah, that's where the bugmen live. So is that, is that ninety a day? Yeah. What? He's 50. What? Dagobah's like 30. Are there any other places that are really worth taking just because they're I don't like think there's anything cash over 100. money planets? This seems very strange. So surely they should be fighting. Maybe, maybe though, they, the they, point is that Bespin will be really hard to take. Well, that's why I'm fortifying it, because the big, higher level space stations are harder to kill. Do we get. I mean, it costs a lot to fortify it. We queue up lots of things to build. Vehicle in production. What are these other things that you can build at places? I'm just interested. Okay, so... Um, so what's that thing there, 2000? This is an ion cannon. Right. Um, so if you do a space battle over a planet with an ion cannon, during the space battle you, you get a button that's on a cooldown that just disables one of their ships. Okay. So, so quite an expensive way to win space battles around a planet. Yeah. Uh, this Seems is a, um, a shield generator, which throws a bubble up on the ground assault. Right. And nothing can shoot through that bubble. Okay. Um, so, like, artillery strikes or bombers from orbit. It's a safe bit. They have to walk through the shield and then fight you that way. Right, so you can have a... It's basically a defensive structure for the ground. Yeah. Again, really expensive. 
Um, this is um, mining facility. Makes, so, makes so, money. so that ge- uh, increases its income. Yeah. Up to. Uh, I'm not what? sure. Let me have a look. Because um, so it's I built one over is here. 180. Oh, it's not finished. Yet. Shola is 70. Ryloff is 70. So I'm guessing it's about 100. Yeah. Oh, there you go. 120. Oh yeah, mine, 120 for each one of those. Damn. So that's actually pretty good. So you do need a few of those. Yeah, I have built some um, dotted around. Did I build one of them? I can't remember. But relatively speaking, like compared to just having Bespin, and also in a sense like. Wow. Ooh. Oh, look here. So Polus, okay, this is a higher leverage credit production yeah. rate too. So it's, so if you build mines here, so that one mine is giving you 220. Yeah, geez, let's just build two more mines here. Started. So that's going to be a mined up place. And we'll make sure it's in the back line. Yeah, you can't attack it without going through either Typhira or Endor. Okay, so as long as we are aware of that, mm-hmm. we can probably hold on to Polus. Build the two mega... Produ- okay. See, see, this is useful. What's that this fourth building there with the 4,000 cost? Uh, this is a turbo laser tower. It's a giant... Turbo laser structure. It's a mega turret, basically. So that seems pretty cool. Yeah. Does that is that um, pretty good at defending? It seems like it sh- should be for its value. Yeah, it's very good at defending. Okay. Um, we've got a barracks, builds infantry, and gives you stuff for ground. And free, is it literally free stuff. Yeah. Okay. And then the next one. Uh, the next one is a light factory, which builds um speeders. Speeders. They're like the uh, the ones that knock over the attacks, the flying things. Oh yeah. Are they they sound good. Three speeders. Do we have to fight many attacks? We will do, yeah. Okay, so fine. <laughs> so we'll, we do but... want some of that. Um and then um once we've built that, we'll be able to build a heavy factory which can build tanks. Right, I see. And then the lastly we've got the officer academy. Which builds builds um snipers and officers. Right. Well they sound pretty both of them sound pretty cool. So do we want to build like one of them on a different each yeah. one on a different So place? every planet can only have so many buildings. Like Hoth can only have four buildings. Right. And one of them is already a, a factory. I don't credit factory. This one can have four. So um, maybe maybe we build on Endor, we build our factories. Yeah, let's build a tank Building factory in Endor. Yeah. And um, then we build a heavy factory on there as well. And we have the Ewoks, because they're quite small, they can fit into we, them. <laughs> we so, industrialise the Ewoks. Yeah. Well, Perfect. you know, it's like using kids f- to get down you're, you're tight holes sweatshop. in a mine shaft or whatever. <laughs> right. It's very exploitative, but they're very Ewoks useful to do it. Yeah, I, I can see I can see your reasoning. It's like if you need to break in, you know, you can send a kid up. Like in Ocean's Eleven when they send in the little Chinese guy. Exactly. Tactical that was just a, a more sensitive way instead of using kit. Oh dear, we're under attack at Kessel. Kessel. We, have we have got? a level one space station and a small fighter screen against um, some triangles. I think we should just sort of resolve this because that is pretty lame. I think he hasn't got a Tartan cruiser to escort him. Right. So we can definitely snipe one or two of those artillery pieces. Okay. With this fight away. What, you got to fly around the side? Yeah. So I'm going to wait a sec for the next one to spawn. Oh, I see, because we get even more out of it. Yeah, we get a couple spawned. Here we go. Okay, go. Enemy unit oh, no, that's the way they're coming from. Squadron, moving out. I'm right with you. They're attacking. Weapons charged. Once we get through this type, there's the artillery there, right in the front. Okay, go. Right there it is. Right Taken down. Are you targeting it with the um, space station as well? What are you using there on the Y wings? So the Y wings have got a cooldown for um, ion cannons, right? Which does extra damage to shields. So if you lead the attack with that. Oh god, those X-Wings didn't do very much damage to it. No. no. But I think it might go down. I think they're going to take it. They were overly ambitious. They, yeah, they were overconfident. They were like, ha, level one space station. We got this. Okay, let's go for the next one. Boom. Boom. Get I do the, like um, the way spaceships explode. Get the guns from the uh, the, the, the thing out here. What's that plus on 60? You can spend 160 credits, I think, on the space station. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can um, increase uh, fighters' attack damage for just this battle. Mm, I um, see. So that would be good in, like, a big... In a big battle, yeah, because it takes time to research as well. Oh, really? Instantly. Yeah, you got to wait, like, a minute for it. Um, How much damage do our space stations can get a bit... Not much of a left. It's got a few holes in it. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to take that down, do you? Probably not. Turbo lasers are offline. Come on, boys. Although, I don't know, man. He hasn't really got much anti-fighter stuff here. Oh, those Y-Wings are dead. Look at the torpedoes from the Y-Wings, though. Oh. Oh. They died before they could impact. They (laughs) despawned. Feels bad. (laughs) We got one of them. So we've lost Kessel. Well, he has to land troops here first, but we have no buildings there, so... It's a bit of a... It's a fucking asteroid. 